Hello my convicts and convict cats just decided to come convict bring you guys and gals another game and yes we are actually coming back to virtual reality. It's been something I've wanted to do for a long time but we didn't have the router to do so now obviously I have a router with Wi-Fi 6 and everything can go back to normal how it was before we can now start to do these kind of things. Uh, I don't know why it's put me over there but I'm gonna uh, do this. What I'm gonna do though, let me try and can I reset? I'm not gonna be facing the right way, am I? Uh, hold on a moment, let me try and fix that. Right, game setting. Um, I want balanced quality. Okay. Um, actually, where's the music? I'm going to turn that off just in case because I don't actually know if that is uh, copyright. Is there not one where you can generally, there's an option where you can reset the way you are, but I'm guessing it's facing the right way. Um, from what I can see here. Anyway, let me just turn off that performance overlay and put my straps on. So yeah, we're back into VR once again. We've come back to VR. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to work. I have got the lights on, but apparently it's saying that uh, it's dark in here, even though it's not. I've got the lights on, but uh, there we go. We're, we're going to have some fun <laughs> as, my, as I lose tracking during gunfights. So this is wandering in space VR. I don't know, it was hard to think then. Wandering in space VR. And uh, you basically, I think it's like a roguelike is how it kind of plays. You basically go in, you scavenge for stuff. You have a backpack, which you can take off like so. And uh, you go and scavenge and you go up in this lift and scavenge stuff and then you come back to your base. And then obviously uh, you come over here to the recycle center and then you can stick your backpack up there and that deposits all your stuff into the thing there and then it goes up into this bit here now I don't know what this does but apparently these things obviously you can collect these and you get so much I don't know if it allows you to create better stuff but I've not been able to find anything else um, to do with it so I'm not 100% sure. There must be some way you can do maybe something else. Uh, outpost module. Uh, there's this thing you can step here, but I'm assuming this might be like a wall thing to put guns on maybe. I don't know. You seem to be able to stand here, but it doesn't actually do anything. Um, anyway, we'll go around and we'll have a look and we'll see what we could do. There's even this table here. I don't even know what really this does um i don't know if that's interactable i don't believe it is i can't no i don't know anyway we'll go up in the lift and we'll have a look at the game we'll keep fighting so like i said it's a bit like a roguelike if you don't know what that is roguelike basically means it's a repeat of the same game but you do it a can change, the levels can change, where you spawn can change, the enemies can change location. Everything basically randomly generates. And uh, then you obviously go around and you scavenge. And you have to watch out for the meanies. Now there's a couple of things you got here. If I sit a bit further forward, because otherwise I won't be able to reach my guns, which would be annoying. You get a gun here, which has your flashlight attached to it. You've got your ammo, which comes here. And then you've got a backpack which you touch your right shoulder. You can pull your backpack off and put it back on. And then you've got these which you hold your 
uh, your, your grips, which are these, where your, your fingers are, your bottom fingers, where your middle finger would go and grab grip. And then if you hold your right trigger, you have these blades, which is really cool. Now the blades are not very that good, to be honest. I've used them a couple of times and they've been a, a little bit lackluster. So we could probably do with a little bit of an upgrade for them. Or maybe you just have to upgrade and get them. But yeah, you basically just come around here and as you can see, we've got some friends who want to come say hi. Hi, welcome. And then you just basically shoot these guys and uh, show them that you ain't scared. Someone there? I thought there was. Ooh, we've got one that looks a little bit more interesting. Right, put that in there and they look like the clickers almost. See you later. Bye, Nora. Right, so let's have a look. Uh, anybody? No? Oh, yeah. I've Hi, bro. Oh, two seconds, my G. There you go. See you later. Right, let me open these. What's in here? Who good is? Good is? Yes. If you do hold your grip, they're just magnetized to your hands, so you can pick them up pretty easy. Now, the, the developers on the game is actually actively working on the game and have uh, done some updates and stuff. It's been really cool. I've had this game for actually a little while, but it's just been unfortunate I've not been able to play it due to, like I said, the lack of Wi-Fi. And now I've got Wi-Fi 6. Now, obviously, I can come back and play this because the graphics just looked absolutely diabolical. I've also been watching a couple of tutorials just in case anyone's kind of like come out with a, another tutorial that might actually help. Because um, generally what you all see is pretty decent. It's, gen it's what I see that sometimes looks absolutely terrible. And then I'm just like, well, it's tough on my side. I'd rather it be good quality that you all see and bad quality that I see rather than obviously the other way around. So I don't mind walking around not pixelated, but kind of blur, slight blurriness, rather than obviously anything else. Uh, we can maybe buff our gun. Ooh. Okay, I'm kind of stuck close. Basic move speed, basic health or ammo capacity. Kind of like that one. You stick it in there. There we go. Right, my gun's returned here, aren't it? Yep. Now I've got more ammo. Can I open these? Nope, can't open these. Okay. Right, let's have a, a butcher's down here. So these are doors that you can unlock. You basically just turn it to the code when it gets to that code. So like when it gets to five, two, one, and then six. And there you go. You just hold grip once as well, and it automatically attaches the gun to your hand. Hi. I like how accurate the guns are. They're pretty decent for accuracy, the guns. What are you doing? Hi. I say that after missing like umpteen shots. Come on then, bro. There you go. No one's coming to greet me either. No. Don't want to turn around and get magically surprised by anybody. Anybody in there? No. Nice containers. Oh. Ah, you can't get in unless I let you through. Right. 
Oh, it's here. Oh, miss. Oh, that doesn't matter. These are air supply. You need this to keep your air going because your air does go down. So you do need to keep topping up your O2. I guess we should let him in. Let's not be rude. We've got to be a good host. There you go. See, we was a good host, wasn't we? We we let you in. We was polite. We said hello, welcome. And then we shot you in the face. You know? Just that how you would expect to be greeted. Thank you. Don't really need the health, but uh, there we go. The enemies are not too 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 hard as of yet. I don't know if they get any harder than than what they are at the moment, but uh, they all seem to be uh, fairly easy to combat at the moment. Ooh. Okay, backpack's full. I might carry that with me because we we are here at the uh, terminal again. How many have we got? Have we got anyone left? Is there anyone left I'm supposed to kill or is that it? Hello? Anybody else? Okay, drop you there. Um, we want more ammo, if you don't mind. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's in this cupboard? Ooh. Don't think so. Ooh, electronic component. <laughs> and that's where it all is. Unfortunately, I don't have the space for you. And we are in space, as you can see. Very, very nice. What planet is that? Is that planet Earth? Okay, right, we're going to go back to the elevator. I think that's it. I don't think there's any anymore. You do it by, like, per round basis. You go in there, you wipe out all the enemies, you leave, and then you go take the stuff, and so on and so forth. Let me just see if there's anyone else about before we go. And then we'll leave it here. I'm just going to leave this as a slightly shorter return video of uh, me returning to VR. No? Alright. You, you can carry a weapon and obviously laser them as well if you want to, but this is not very good um, from when I've used it. It does very, very low thing. Yeah, no headset, so the headset power is low. Ooh, hi. What's this? Please place it in your backpack. I can't, because I've got no space. Hold on, let me get rid of some of that. No, thank you. Sounds like we've got friends. Okay, we'll have you and... We'll have you. How many bullets? Got 17. Thank you. And that's when it says completed. There we go. So he was the last. He was the end boss. <laughs> Apparently. Right, so we're going to leave it here. I'm going to end it before the battery runs out of my quest. But uh, there you go. As you can see, again, it's called, I forgot, uh, Wandering in Space VR.
It's a pretty cool game, interesting, and uh, I've had a lot of fun playing it. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy these kind of games, roguelike style games, and especially going around with monsters, that I wouldn't say it's particularly scary as such, uh, but it is an interesting, ooh, an interesting game to play. We can do this now, can we? Oh no, not that. It's that, that one in tech. Have I unlocked another area? I have. Okay. Thank you for finding. Go to the second floor to find a white energy chip. Okay. Well, we're not going to do that. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, if you want, you can join. It's just $1.99. It gives you access to emotes, badges, and all good stuff as well. As well as, obviously, charity work I'd love to do in that in the future. Anyway, I'm going to go quickly before I run out of battery. It is Isaac of Convict signing out. As always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, And I salute you to my elite convicts and elite convicts. Thank you very much for joining and continuing to support the channel by paying the $1.99 per month to obviously help continue to support what we do here. I very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I uh, appreciate you very, very much. So, so thank you very much, everybody. And yeah, hopefully enjoy the return to VR and we'll do a lot more VR in the future. Thank you very much. And yeah, bye for now.